The surviving soldier scoop can be found in Venicio, in the cave west of the Giorama. You will be able to capture a photo of the ghost from the hours of 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. The first scoop we have is the Ancient Mural. You can find this in the Ocean's Roar Cavern in the Cave of Ancient Murals. You can get this photo by just taking a picture of the mural you see when you first enter the room. The next scoop we have to do is the Baron's Hanging On. You can find this one in the underground water channel in the Steve's battle floor. And the strategy for this one is that you want to hang around the vanguards. And when they do their attack, you want to step back and make sure you're facing them. And at this point, you want to take out your camera and take a shot of that. And with this, you should be able to get a picture of them. The next scoop is the bomber head boom. And for this one, you can find it in the Mount Gundor in the danger zone floor. And the trick for this scoop is that once you find a bomber head, you want to throw a stone, a lightning stone, a fire elemental stone, anything that will get to low health. And then it's going to try coming towards you. And then after that, it's going to explode. And at this point, when it explodes, you want to take a picture of its body on the floor, and that should give you a scoop of it. The next scoop we have is the Brave Little Linda scoop, and to access this one, you need to finish the Create an Energy Pack side quest for the Ride Pod. And with this, the way you want to get the scoop is that you'll see the elephant, and then you're going to want to hit its back. At this point, it'll get angry, and it'll start to do the pose where it goes up in the air. And with this, you want to go right in front of it and you want to take a picture of that. And that should net you the scoop. The Burning Dragonfire scoop can be found in the Starlight Cannon floor, Lighthouse Appears. And for this scoop, you're going to want to go in front of the dragon. And right when it throws the fire at you, you want to take a photo of that. The scoop can be found in the Starlight Cannon Floor, Earth Shaking Demon. You are going to want to use a throwable item on it. And once you do that, you're going to have a brief period where you can get the scoop. The Charging Ram scoop can be found on the Starlight Cannon Floor, Headlong Dash. You are going to want to find a ram, and with that ram, you want him to run towards you. When he's running towards you, you can take a picture of it, and you will get the scoop. The Clown Robo Attack Scoop can be found in the Halloween boss fight in the Channel Reservoir in the Underground Water Channel. For this scoop, you are going to want to get the red bombs that Halloween throws at you. You're going to want to throw them at him, do the damage to him, and he's going to jump back. And with this, he's going to fire a rocket at you. And you want to take a picture of him firing the rocket at you. And with this, you will get the scoop. For the Dangerous Pumpkin Scoop, you're going to want to go into the Rainbow Butterfly Wood and go to the floor Strange Tree. And you're going to find a pumpkin head. He's going to be throwing these grenade things at you. And what you want to do is you want to wait for them, just block them. And then eventually he's going to turn his pitchfork around. And at this point, you want to get the shot of him. And with this, you will get the scoop. You can find the Dr. Jamming scoop in the Dr. Jamming boss fight. The scoop is very easy to get. All you literally want to do is when you're in the boss fight, you want to turn your camera upwards and you want to snap a photo of Dr. Jamming on his marionette. 
The Earth Gem Altar is another very easy one to get. For this one, you are going to need to be in Chapter 6, and then you're going to want to go to the floor in the Rainbow Butterfly Wood, Chamber of the Sleeping Earth Gem, and with this you're going to want to fight the boss, and after you're done that, you want to take a photo of the Earth Gem Altar. For the face behind the Devil Mask scoop, you're going to want to go to the Starlight Cannon Floor, Headlong Dash. And with this, you're going to want to go up to a Devil Mask, and you want to use its bite attack on you. And when it does this bite attack, you want to take a picture of its face when it does that. And with that, you will get the face behind the Devil Mask scoop. For the Fainting Bone Lord scoop, you're going to want to go to Mount Gundor, and go to the floor, Road to the River of the Flames. And to get this scoop, you're going to want to go find a Bone Lord. And with this Bone Lord, you're going to want to find a rock on the floor. And you're going to throw the rock at it. And then once it's in its stun phase, you want to take a picture of its face. And with this, you will get the Fainting Bone Lord scoop. The Fallen Battleship scoop can be found on the Mount Gundor floor, the Mount Gundor mouth. And with this scoop, you are going to want to go up to the Fallen Battleship. And all you want to do is just take a picture of it. The Find the Golden Egg scoop can be found on Jurek Mall. And a note for this scoop is that you need to complete the Georama uh, requirement for it. If you don't do that, it will not appear in Jurak Mall. And it can be found in Jurak Mall in the upper areas. And all you want to do is just take a picture of it and you will get it as a scoop. The Fire Gem Altar can be found in the Mount Gundor floor, Chamber of the Blazing Fire Gem. And like the Earth Gem, you're going to want to defeat the boss in there. And after you're done that, you're going to want to take a shot of the Fire Gem Altar. The Fire Squall scoop is found on the Mount Gundor floor, the Mount Gundor peak. And with this scoop, all you're going to want to do is just take a picture of the Fire Squall. And a note for this one, you need to take the scoop before you blow it up. If you take a scoop after it's blown up, it will not count. For the Floating Earth Digger scoop, you're going to want to go to the Rainbow Butterfly Woods into the Strange Tree floor. And in this floor, you're going to want to find a molar and you want, to get a, you want it to come towards you. And when it's jumping towards you, you want to snap a photo of it. And you will get the scoop when you do that. The Flotsam Revive scoop can be found in the Zelmite Mine. And for those of you who do not know, the Zelmite Mine is an optional dungeon available in Chapter 8, right after the end of the game in the Moonflower Palace. And in this scoop, you can find it in the Flotsam Miniboss. And to get the scoop, all you need to do is just snap a photo of Flotsam during the fight. You don't need to do anything specific. All you need is just a photo of him. The Flower of the Sun scoop can be found in the Moonflower Palace, inside Alexander's room. And once you get the Sunflower from the garden, you'll put it into the vase. And with that, all you need to do is just snap a photo of it and you'll get the Flower of the Sun scoop. For the Flying Battleship scoop, there are three places where you can get it. One is in the Chapter 3 Final Boss. When you are Max and when you are protecting Lin from the fires, you can just take a photo of the flying battleship from the distance. Secondly, during the Dr. Jamming boss fight in Chapter 4, you can also take a photo of the flying battleship in the background. And lastly, in the Chapter 5 mini boss with the Death Arc, you can take a photo of the flying battleship while it's shooting at you. And any of those three will give you the same scoop. The Gigantor Pazno scoop can be found in the Kazarov Stonehenge, right after the cutscene that you get, 
after you get all four gems, it can be found right behind the Ixion. And all you need to do is just step back and make sure you get a photo of it. And then you'll get the scoop. The Griffin's real face scoop can be found in the chapter six boss battle against Emperor Griffin. And to get the scoop, what you're gonna to wanna to do is just take any photo of his face during the fight. The easiest way for me to do that is when he teleports right towards you, you take a photo and then step right back before he attacks you. For the Guemo's Yell scoop, you're going to want to go to the Rainbow Butterfly Woods into the Rainbow Falls entrance floor. And in this floor, you're going to want to find a Guemo. And what you're going to want to do is with Max, you're going to want to shoot him. And once you shoot him, he's going to let out a yell. And during this yell, you take a photo of him and you will get the scoop. For the hmm, Jurak scoop, what you're going to want to do is go to Jurak Mall and just take a photo of Jurak. That's all you need to do. The Hot Spring Spirit scoop can be found in Heimrata near the Hot Springs area. You will be able to capture the scoop from the hours of 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. For the Hooray for Rockman scoop, what you're going to want to do is go to Balance Valley to Starlight Cannon to the powerful Yo-Yo Robot floor. And with this, you're going to want to find a golem and what you're going to do is you're going to target him and then you're going to get into his aggro range and slowly step back and eventually he's going to put his hands up in the air to do a ground slam and at that moment you get your camera out and you snap a photo of him and with this you will get the scoop. The Kazarov Stonehenge scoop can be found in the Kazarov Stonehenge area on the map. What you're going to want to do is walk right towards the center and then with the area with the blue and red light, you're going to want to take a photo of that and you will get the scoop. The King Martin scoop can be found in the Fish Monster Swap area of the Rainbow Butterfly Woods. In order to get it, you're going to want to progress in the story normally. But once you fish out King Martin, you're just going to want to take a picture of him. And with that, you will get the scoop. The Lafricia Stem scoop can be found in the Rainbow Butterfly Woods at the Rainbow Falls area. All you're going to want to do is just take a photo of the Lafricia Stem. That is all. The Lava Road Scoop can be found in the Mount Gundor area, the Mount Gundor Mouth. What you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to get the horn you get from Galen Agaris in the future Gundorada workshop, and you're going to want to use it to clear the path towards the Fallen Battleship. With this, you can take a photo of the newly formed lava road that you see. The Legend of the Moon scoop can be found in the final boss battle of Chapter 7 against the Dark Element. What you're going to want to do is, during the fight, at any time, you're going to want to point your camera upwards to the red moon that is falling and you're just going to want to take a picture of it and with that you will get the scoop.
The Master Utan scoop can be found in the fish monster swap area of the Rainbow Butterfly Woods. What you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to go to the area where Master Utan is sitting down, and you're going to want to take a picture of him. And with that, you will get the scoop for Master Utan. The Moongrisal scoop can be found in the future Starlight Temple. What you're going to want to do is, go through the time gate to the Starlight Temple in the future. You're going to want to go to the center area on the first floor, and you're going to want to point your camera upwards, towards the Moon Crystal. And with that, you will get the scoop for the Moon Crystal. The Mr. Big Shot's Shadow Scoop can be found in the Zelmite Mine's final floor. In order to get the scoop, you're going to want to take any photo of the Dark Genie during the fight. He does not need to be doing a specific action, all you need to do is just take a photo of him when he's floating around in the air. The Nice Massage Scoop can be found on the Starlight Cannon's floor were the Roly Poly Brothers. In order to get the scoop, you're going to want to go up to a Priest of Rama, and eventually it will do an action which its hands will be behind its back. At this moment, you're going to want to snap a photo of it. Stalker, and what he's going to do to you is he's going to spin right towards you. At this moment, when he's spinning right towards you, you're going to want to snap a photo of it. And with this, you will get the scoop. The Pasno scoop is a very easy one to get. What you're going to want to do is to go to Heim Rada, to Gundarada Workshop. And when you're at Gundarada Workshop, you're going to want to point your camera upwards towards Pasnos. And with this, you will get the scoop for Pasnos. The Phantom Memo Eater scoop can be found on the Yorta Valley floor of Starlight Cannon in Chapter 3. All you need to do to get the scoop is to simply take a photo of the Phantom Memo Eater during the boss fight. The Puppet Shingala scoop can be found on the Cave of Ancient Murals floor the Ocean's Roar Cavern in Chapter 4. In order to get this scoop, what you're going to want to do is to take a photo of Shingala's face with the mechanical apparatus on his head. With this, you will get the scoop for the puppet Shingala. The Rainbow Butterfly United scoop can be found in the Rainbow Butterfly boss battle in Chapter 2. In order to get this scoop, you're going to want to do the boss battle as you normally would. However, once you reach the moment with the six different butterflies of the six different colors, you're going to want to attack a butterfly that's not the color red. Once you do this, all six butterflies will recombine in the center to become the rainbow butterfly. At this moment, you're going to want to capture a picture of this. And when you do this, you will get the scoop for the rainbow butterfly united. The Ruler of the Pond scoop can be found in the Palm Brinks Lake from the hours of 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. The Spinning Ivanov scoop can be found in the Starlight Cannon floor where the Roly Poly Brothers. In order to get the scoop, you're going to want to take a photo right as the Ivanov charges towards you. The Spooky Grass Smile Scoop can be found in the Rainbow Butterfly Woods floor, Frightening Forest. In the floor, you are going to want to look for the man-eating grass. You are going to want to wait for the man-eating grass to make that very creepy smile, and when it makes that smile, 
you're going to want to take a picture of it in order to get the scoop. The Sun Chamber Gatekeeper Scoop can be found in the Moonflower Palace in the area right before the Emperor Griffin boss battle. In order to get the scoop, you're going to want to go up right to the doors and then take a photo of the statue right next to them. The symbol of Luna Lab scoop can be found in the 100% complete Luna Lab. This scoop can be found right in front of the time gate in the area before the main entrance to the Luna Lab. For the Ixion scoop, you simply want to go up to the Ixion and take a photo of it. The Ultimate Gaspard Scoop can be found during the end of Chapter 5 during the Gaspard boss fight. In order to get the scoop, you simply want to take a photo of the Demon Gaspard during its final form. The Tor's Nap Scoop can be found in the strange tree floor in the Rainbow Butterfly Woods. In order to get the scoop, you want to take a photo of a Tor when it has its eyes closed. The Vinicio's Evening Sun Scoop can be found in Vinicio during the time of 4.30. What you want to do is to get a photo of the sun meeting with the horizon. With this, you can get a photo of the scoop. The water gem altar can be found in the Ocean's Roar Cavern in the water gem chamber.